everyone. My name is Vicky and I'm from MPAX. Now most of the time, besides plant sourcing, we make use of many different propagation techniques to mass propagate and to ensure that the plants are readily available in Singapore. Today, I'll be showing you one of the techniques that we tend to use in the nursery and that is how to graft plants using wedge grafting. Now wedge grafting, or sometimes we call this top wedge grafting, is actually one of the methods that we use to propagate plant species that don't propagate well via seeds or stem cutting. So some of the tools that you will need for this activity is grafting knife, grafting tape, any disinfecting agents such as alcohol soap, a clear transparent bag, and cable ties, as well as secateurs. So are we ready to start grafting? Let's go! Today, I will be using hibiscus as the example. First, we will choose the rootstock. This is going to be the root system of another plant that you want the grafted plant to root upon. Select a healthy branch. Remove all the leaves. Next, make a clean cut at the point you want to graft. Cut a half an inch slit along the middle of the stem. Next, let's move on to the scion. Now this is the plant part that you would want it to graft. To select the scion, make sure it is a strong and healthy stem. Preferably belonging to the same plant family. This is to increase the survival rate. Remove all the leaves. Make straight sloping cuts at the grafting point of the scion. The cambium layer should be exposed. We will attach the scion to the rootstock. Align the sloping cuts of the scion to the slit of the rootstock. The cambium should match and touch closely as possible. Finally, we will seal the graft using the grafting tape. Next, cover the plant with a clear transparent bag and tie the ends to maintain the moisture of the grafted part. All you have to do next is to find a good semi-shaped spot to place your plant. Remember to water it regularly for it to continue growing healthily. Have a bountiful harvest. Good luck!